Now then, welcome to another video. So today I thought I'd show you, finally, my Saracen army, or my Arab Muslim army for um, Soldiers of God. So, painted these up, a lot of them, um, over the kind of last 10 years really, but recently I've just, uh, since I discovered Soldiers of God, I've been re-enthused uh, and I've added a load more and got more painted up to take on my Crusaders, which you may have seen uh, in a previous video. So, without any further ado, we'll just get into uh, looking at the, the army itself. So I think what we'll do, we'll start with the central um, command here. Okay, so what we've got then, um, at the front there we've got two units of archers, four bases in each. So in Soldiers of God, the minimum unit size is two bases, and then you pay extra points per base. So minimum two up to four is a maximum size. So what I could do is have these as four units of two if I wanted to. Um, I could deploy them as light infantry, so you just split them up like that, and you just have a big skirmish screen of archers. So it's quite flexible in that way, um, which is cool. But what I'll do is, just for now, I'll keep them as units of uh, four bases, so they're quite large bases of archers. Um, to sat behind them, we've got the uh, Muslim infantry, the Arab tribal infantry. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so I've got three, three units of four bases of those. Uh, and then behind them, um, we've got the um, Arab Tribal Cavalry. Uh, they're all armed with lances. So the way I've modelled them, those ones over there are the uh, Arab cav Cavalry. Um, and these two units here are um, Syrian lancers. So, so I've got the um, Central Command there. And behind, what I've also got is um, the baggage train there. These are from... Where did I get these? They'll come to me. i um, got them from somewhere, obviously. But it's a couple of camels with uh, baggage on it. And then I've got the command of this um, central division there. Um, there he is. Just that guy there. Just found these flags online. Just googled... Um, uh, Muslim flags for the Crusades and just loads of images come up so I just printed off a sheet no idea where they're from but whoever made them thanks very much and um, yeah so that's the command stand for that block there and then what we'll do is we'll spin over this way uh, now the real power of the, the Muslim army in the Crusades was its cavalry so over here we've got a cavalry wing but we've also got some skirmishers attached to the front of it so what we've got is um, two units of archers again, but in skirmish order, uh, and then a large unit of four bases of um, Muslim javelinmen. Again, I could split these up and deploy them as light infantry, which is probably what I will do. So I have a large unit like that, and then Turco men, Turkmen, over there, horse archers. Um, another unit there, another small unit of skirmishers, and then behind we've got. Safadin, I believe his name is. He was um, Saladin's brother. Uh, so he's in command of this uh, wing. And then the real power uh, of the uh, Muslim army was obviously it's heavy cavalry. So we've got four units of Mamluks there. These were all armed with lances and bows and heavily armoured. So they're kind of more than a match for the, uh, the crusading knights, but they've got bows as well. Um, they must have been a real nuisance to fight against. Um, but yeah, there they are, there's four units of those. So, spinning around again. Okay, so over here then we've got the the right wing of the Muslim army. Uh, composed exactly the same as the other one, but this one here is led by Saladin, and there he is there on his horse. Um, same again with the um, Turkmen there, javelin men. Uh, light infantry archers and then four units of Mamluks behind. So altogether, um, this army probably outpoints my Crusaders a little bit, but um, I don't think I'll be adding too much more to this. Um, just give you a quick spin round. There we go. Yeah, it's taken me a long time to paint these, but I really do enjoy the uh, the Crusades period and um, the Soldiers of God rules. I'm really enjoying as well. 
what I've found as well on their Facebook group, they've got a, an, like a, a program that you can download. It's an army builder. So here's an example of one here. And um, once you download it, you just click on the units and you've got a drop down menu. You fill it in and then it fills in what exactly they are. You put in how many stands you want, and it gives you all your points and everything, and your morale value and all that sort of stuff. So it's dead handy, and then you just print it out. So you can change your army in between games, it's really good. Um, but yeah, there we go. I hope that video isn't too dark. As always, I'm struggling with the light here, but um, yeah, there's my Saracens. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a game soon once we're out of lockdown. And um, I might even do a bit of a battle report with them. Anyway, I've started to waffle, so I'll leave it there. Um, thanks very much for watching. I'll speak to you all again very soon. Bye-bye.